already painted my nails with two coats of a purple polish. It's called Deep Purple by Sally Hansen. And I've let that dry completely. And for this tutorial I'm going to be using Conad Plate M64. And I'm going to be using this um, sort of leafy, swirly one there. So I'm going to be using a white polish with that. I'm just using my Sally Hansen all the white stuff. Um, use any nice opaque white or a Conad white polish for this because we are putting it on a dark base color. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to apply that onto the plate. Oops. Okay, we're going to place it so this side is at the base of our nail, like so. Okay, and I'm just going to repeat that for the rest of my fingers. Okay, so I've got that on all of my fingers now. I know it's kind of out of focus, but um, yeah. And so next you're going to grab a piece of cosmetic sponge and I'm going to grab a red glittery polish. This is Red Carpet by Sally Hansen. It's very similar to China Glaze's Ruby Pumps, if you have that instead. Or, as always, you can use whatever color you want. So I'm just going to apply that to uh, the sponge here. And I'm going to be applying it to the nail base um, concentrated near the cuticle and then kind of fanning out and diluting towards the tip. And this is going to be really messy, but it'll be pretty, I swear. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've got that all sponged on there, I'm going to grab a Q-tip that's soaked in nail polish remover and just clean off all of this um, nail polish that I've got all around my finger. If you want also, you can also apply either some Vaseline or some cuticle oil to this area so that it's easier to remove the nail polish, but I find it's the sort of the same difference, so I'm just going to clean up the rest of my fingers and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cleaned up my cuticles and this is what I've got. And the last thing I'm going to do is just apply a top coat. I'm using Seche Vite. And that'll be it. So I'm just going to apply this to a couple of my nails. Applying top coat after you do some sponging is always great because it kind of smooths it all out and makes the transition a lot smoother. And it makes the color like really pop also, so yeah, um, I guess I'll just finish off this other nail. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's really super easy and really kind of girly and sparkly, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!